Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about the big three tools in the designing industry Sketch, Figma and Adobe XD. So in this video I will discuss that uh, which tool should you choose if you are a beginner and you have just started designing. So without any further delay, let's get started. So our first criteria is compatibility. So Sketch is a native Mac OS desktop app. So you can't use it on Windows or any other operating system. So if you are talking about Adobe XD, then on Mac you should have Mac OS X V10.13 or later and if you are on Windows you should have Windows 10 64 bit. So I would, I will recommend you to uh, go to the website and check if your system is compatible or not. So in Figma you don't have to worry about system requirements and all as it is a cloud based app be it Mac, Linux or Windows and uh, you can just go to the website and sign up and start using the app and uh, Figma also provides you a desktop version so our next criteria is uh, pricing if you are talking about sketch you have to give $99 it's a one time payment and uh, you will have full access to the app and you can use whatever you want but if you are a beginner it can be a bit higher price so I will recommend you using Adobe XD or Figma now Adobe XD comes uh, free in initial stage but uh, if you want to have its full access like uh, active share document if you want to ha uh, have unlimited active share documents or uh, you want to have cloud storage up to 100 GB then you have to give 9.99 dollars per month and so on these are the pricing structure of Adobe XD you can have a look at it now Figma like Adobe XD is a completely free tool but uh, if you want to have access to their uh, to all their features then you have to pay $12 per month for these many features and if you want to work as an organization in Figma you have to pay $45 per editor uh, for one month for to have access for these many features if you are a beginner then I'll suggest you to choose the free versions of Adobe XD or Figma rather than choosing paid versions for just one or two features and when you think that the Figma, Adobe XD or Sketch is best for you and your business and suits you then you can buy the paid versions to meet your needs now before we talk about features of these tools one thing you should know that these are the best and state of art tools for designing and uh, none of the tools is lacking in the industry they are only improving and it's just that one tool has some features like Adobe XD has some features and Figma does not have the, those features but it has some features which Adobe XD and other software ha don't have and you should also choose the uh, software which you think is best for you uh, and not by seeing that other users are using it now sketch has been for a quite long time in the designing industry and uh, it was leading the market but it now has some competitions like XD and Figma but one thing with sketch is that you can uh, you can make the UIs very fast and simply like I've seen many many people who are not from designing background and they can also use they are also using sketch very easily now one thing which I like about sketch is that you can very easily put the text on these type of paths and uh, you can make your text in a vector based format like uh, like this you can make the text in a vector based format and you can edit it yourself now uh, one thing about sketch is that uh, you can actually view your uh, view your prototypes on your phone on your physical phone uh, by installing this app called sketch mirror on your ios device and then connect it via usb or by, uh, via wi-fi and then click the notifications on the top center and, uh, of the sketch app window to connect 
like this and here it will give you a notification that your iPhone is connected and then you can literally um, view it on your phone this uh, uh, this feature is not in Figma but uh, it is in Adobe XD so I really like this feature now talking about Adobe XD uh, I have to admit that it has really some great features and uh, the feature which I like the most is that you can very easily work with other uh, Adobe software like you can have Adobe fonts in it uh, in Adobe XD you can use it in Adobe XD you can easily uh, export your UI in Photoshop and edit it there and the, uh, and the great thing is that you can also export it to After Effects and uh, create your animation and after effects is the leading animation tool in the industry and mostly everyone uses it now talking about uh, prototype i think uh, adobe xd has some great interaction features and i really like this feature called auto auto animate where you can create cool ux like these and uh, uh, previewing the app is very uh, previewing your ui is very simple you can download their xd mobile app and uh, view your UX on iOS and Android devices like Sketch but in Sketch you can only view it on iOS devices now creating uh, UIs in Figma is super easy as you don't have to download anything you don't have to update anything you can just work on it and uh, I like this feature of creating an arc in Figma it is super easy and they show off in their website also now Figma has some simple interaction features and uh, UX features using which you can make a simple prototype but if you want to uh, have really good and smooth UI, uh, UX and uh, then I'll suggest you using any other tool using which you can export your Figma UI into that tool and uh, deal with the UX like I use Protopy and uh, export my Figma designs into Protopie and then you, uh, deal with the UX. Now I also like this feature called Smart Animate where you can create advanced transitions you, uh, and uh, I'm not going into depth of anything because the video will be a bit larger. You can simply go to the websites and go to their feature tab and uh, look for what you want. Now because Sketch has been for a long time in the industry it has larger number of plugins than Adobe XD and Figma and yes it also accepts third party plugins now because of this Adobe XD is also accepting third party plugins so that it can uh, cope up in the competition now Figma has started gaining popularity from the past year and it's a bit newer than the other two tools and uh, it has uh, a fewer number of plugins than Sketch and Figma but Figma is improving very greatly and uh, I think uh, it will improve the plugins and add uh, new plugins in it. I personally use Figma because it's really easy to work with team in Figma. You can just share the link and uh, go to the uh, and people can come and comment on your design and edit it. But uh, that does not mean that Figma is the best tool. I recommend you that if you are on Mac then at least try uh, Sketch for once. Don't buy it but uh, download the free version for one month and uh, try it. And if you are not on Mac then uh, at least try Adobe XD or Figma and then choose the best. So that is it for today and I hope that this video will help you in choosing the right tool for you. And please subscribe the channel if you are new. Thank you. Oh, <laughs>